Hello, I'm Andrew and welcome back to Rimworld Needs You. Uh, we have a new person we need to name, McKnight. Tobias McKnight. Who is, wow, chronologically 1505 years old. Okay then. That's old. Okay, um, your name is Isaac. The Binding of, I wonder. Well, you were bound for, you know, near enough 1500 years of your life, so. So we've got two guys we're about to break, which is unfortunate. Rock Mage and Mr. Chew, who got beaten up by Rock Mage. Yeah, go spend some time throwing things. What are you doing? Are you doing... You're playing horseshoes as well? Ah, oh, they're all playing together! That's lovely! And no one's complaining anymore! <gasps> they're not sad! Yay! I mean, the rain has kind of got rid of the heat wave. That's... Uh, that really helps. So, let us put... Anything back in these slots! Anything back in these slots! There we go. Mr. Chu, are you just sitting there staring? Oh, you're praying. So, basically, yes. Okay. I mean, your eyes didn't seem to close. Oh, God. I only just survived the last bleeding one. PDW. Melee. Oh, my God. Ooze. A PDW? Two, two PDWs. A shotgun. And a pistol. Oh, God. I could do with their weapons, though. So, you know, that's good. But actually, oh, my God. If we still have weapons, like, lying out here in the... Yeah, there's a, there's a normal club. There's grenades. Oh, my God. Can we get to those in time? I think we might be able to if we run for them. Isaac. You're a melee. And you've only got a sh kind of crappy club with you at the moment. So if we go for this knife with you... Mr. Chu, you are a careful shooter. Do we have a gun? Okay, we don't, but grenades are close enough, right? They're almost like guns. Rock Mage, you are a melee. Grab the granite club. Oh my god. It's going to be tight. Right. Get indoors with that weapon. Tom. Hold open. Okay, right, yeah. Hold all the doors open. That way we can hide behind them and shoot out. Gentle Wolf. What's this? Visitors. Where are the visitors coming from? Maybe they'll fight. Eh, opposite end of the spectrum, but maybe they'll fight. Who knows? Right, Isaac. Get there. Mr. Chu. Uh, here, I guess? I don't know if you're going to run across that open field of fire. We'll see. Oh no, Isaac! How badly you hurt? Torso and stomach, okay. Well, it's the same one, so... First round is a miss with the, the gun turret. Mr. Chu, yeah. Oh, Gunter is taking one hell of a beating. We could maybe sneak someone out to, like, repair it from behind. There's a risk you'd be shot. Who is our best repairer? Magenta Wolf. Yeah, but you're our doctor. We can't risk that. Rock Mage. Okay, Rock Mage. You can make it for last time. Can we get within range of them with, uh, Tom? If we get Tom to sneak forward? No, he's actually already in range. Okay.
Okay, Rock Mage, keep going. Oh no, you've been hit already. Neck. How good are we like with this? It's almost fully healed. Rock Mage, pull back. <gasps> yeah, these guys might fight. Come on, guys. Get involved. By the way, how, how's this guy doing? Pretty injured. Are they, are they shooting? <gasps> yes, they are! One guy down. Okay. Rock Mage. Repair the turret. Maybe we move in now. Like for the kill thing. Can we shoot this guy? Yeah. That guy's probably going to be dead. Fleeing. Oh, didn't get to flee properly. He's not going to get away. Ooh, ooh, we can capture him, right. What are you like? <gasps> You're amazing. Right, pessimist, eh, cold tolerant, nice. Was a shelter child, became a space pirate, although we haven't actually done this for uh, Isaac, we should do this. Um, amazing at shooting in melee, or well, not amazing, but great, good, very good. Um, great at medicine, I love another medicine one. It's good, to, uh, you know, to do some more artistic crafting, research, can learn growing, can learn mining, can do cooking straight away, yes, undoubtedly. Unequivocally, set as medical. And, uh, right. Who is nearest? Mr. Chu, you can do it. She, Mr. Chu, you need a new weapon. Careful shooter. Get yourself a PDW. Rock Mage, you can do it. Capture Car the Pirate. Magenta Wolf. Trigger Happy. You know, if you're Trigger Happy, getting a PDW might not be a bad idea. There is a second PDW lying around. There we go. And uh, then we'll strip these guys. There's body armor on them as well. So we should have good collection. And we've got another pistol as well. And a shotgun. And a boar, if we want it. Oh, yeah. That went a lot better than I expected. I'll be completely honest. Far better than I expected. Oh, love it. Right. Rock Mage. Needs treatment. Oh, yeah. How badly did you get hurt? Was it just that bullet wound to the neck? Because I think that's, you know, acceptable. Also, we should put in a comms thingy. And we should finally start talking to uh, people. Obletry beacon. Ooh, wow, okay. Um, what I think is we put in a extra building here. Like an extra large extra building. And we use this as our comms uh, thing. Yeah, that, that would be kind of nice. I mean, the other alternative is we can put a building over here. We haven't been attacked from this direction yet. And I've got a feeling because there's less map over here, we won't be. But since it, you know, kind of okay matches up to this one down here, I think we'll do it down here. And that'll be structure, wooden wall. How long is this? 13. 13. 13. 13. Yeah, that looks central. Wooden door in there. And that should be fine. We really need to stop them using these beds. Actually, we need more bedrooms. That's actually a good point. We need more bedrooms. Hmm. Where do we put the... 
Extra bedrooms down here, down this side? That might be an idea. I mean, we haven't done that yet, so... If we, like, halve it, would there be a large enough bedroom? Like, I presume so. So that's like one, two. Why is this 11? Where did I screw up on this? I have no idea. Why is this 11? It, it shouldn't be. Oh, because I included two paths here and made it the same width. Okay. This one certainly can be split up then. That's acceptable bedrooms. One, two, three, four, five, uh, six. When we hollow that out, we should be good. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, do I need to split? Probably. Okay, we're going to go with yes. Which means that this one needs to split as well. So, uh, that was wrong. Cancel. Cancel. Wooden wall. Boop. There we go. That should be fine. In theory. Yeah, no getting no medicine there. Let's look at your health. Nothing shot off. You've already got a peg leg, so you are pretty slow, but we can make up for that. You get a friendly chat as well. Oh, chat and recruit? I don't have that on. Okay, friendly chat, chat and recruit instead. There we go, whoops. You still bleeding out? Yeah. We'll fix that. Treat Rock Mage first, then you can have your little fun times of your feud. Are people just enjoying the, the temperature in there? I think people are. Yeah, it's still 44 outside, 42 in there. People are actually walking into the freezer to... Like, in the in this one, right? The airlock, because the airlock's colder. They've gone into the airlock to get the 8 degree temperature. They're just having fun in the airlock. I like that. That's kind of funny. People are just hanging out inside the... Uh, the freezer. I just find that mildly amusing. Escape pod. Another one? Hello. Stab. Scratch. Crack. Scratch. Okay. What are you like? Crazy good at research. Masochist. Psychically sensitive fast walker incapable of plant work or mining. Uh, but you're an eight shooter. Yeah, but honestly, if you can't do, like, growing or mining... I'm a lot less interested in you. Only 28, though. Do I really have the capacity to take you in and, like, I'd have to capture you. And the space of faction don't matter, right? The space of faction don't matter because they aren't, don't exist on the map, so I could capture you at, like, no loss. Right, yeah, and we can turn off the whole door open now. Okay, yeah. We'll try and capture you. I say try, like we can fail. That would be pretty impressive. Severe illness. Heat stroke extreme. <gasps> How do we how do we do how do we deal with this? Magenta Wolf, can we like treat this? Tom Tom's What are you doing, Tom? Feeding a simple meal. No. Oh, it is just a simple meal. 
the heat stroke is too high. It's 40 degrees indoors. And four, fifth, sorry, 50 degrees indoors and 53 outside. We're going to lose Borba. Can we do anything about this? Not really. Unless we start calling their rooms, but we're not calling anyone else's room. And we'd have to move them while we did that. Borba, how good are you? Like, you're pretty good. Incapable of dumb labor. Neurotic Barilla Optimist. I mean, you're pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I really do want you. <gasps> we move Borba into the freezer. That's the cure for heat stroke, right? You put him in a freezer. Set for prisoners. Set for colonists. Tom. Go. Cars developing an infection. Oh, um, we don't have anything to deal with it. We'll get car moved as well. Heat stroke serious. Okay. Rock Mage, can we. Prioritize wardening? Yep, yeah, car. Just get rid of that heat stroke. We need this beacon up and running. It's getting close to being done, but as soon as I get seven running, we can maybe start, you know, doing some training and get some, uh, stuff. And we'll move our stuff from here to here. We'll also move silver as well. Silver's actually a raw resource, so I've got to put it in here. And it's currently in here. Yeah, I've got to remember to do that. I like the fact we're keeping the prisoners in the freezer. There's just something weird and morbid about that. Enjoy. It's down to an almost acceptable temperature outside. We'll shift them eventually. Like, as soon as they start to get hypothermia, we'll shift them. Still a minor infection there. I mean, maybe it's helping being in the freezer. Maybe it's slowing the infection or something. But, you know, realistically, cold will reduce your immune system. But I guess we'll see. Aha, there we go. Trade beacon is now up. Create stockpile. And then we just delete past the stockpile. Zone. Delete zone. And then we copy across, copy settings, paste settings, and then storage, raw resources, silver, and gold, because we want to trade them. And then silver, gold. Bam. That should work a treat. And if you decrease the importance of this by one, they should all start shifting it over, right? How's your health doing? You okay in minus two? Cool. Maybe, like, if we look at your, like, your uh, needs, it'll be, like, very cold. Very ugly. Sharing bedroom. Slept on the ground. Cold. There we go. Only minus five. Yeah, that's acceptable. Still 34 outside, so, you know, I'd rather keep you in there for now. Got any more trees we can chop? Oh, there are marks to chop down. Okay, we're doing good. Tom, need materials. Okay, so start getting me materials. Rock mage, do the same. Cut down the popular tree. Wow, Tom's a lot slower at it. <laughs> 
Rock Mage basically like, bam, tree. Oh. Need more raw materials. Go, make more materials. Uh, make more raw materials. That's the words. Anyway, I've been Enterlisting. I'm going to end it there for today. If you enjoyed this episode, please like if not subscribed. Please consider subscribing. It, uh, it's really good and helpful and stuff, and I love you forever if you do. Um, but until next time, I guess we'll find out if we manage to save Car or not. How is that infection doing? Major now. I'm running up to 37. I'm, I'm suspecting Car's going to go down. But we'll see. We'll see. I love you awesome nerds. Stay shiny.